Unsupported. Unhappy. Traumatised. Frightened. Sad. Isolated. Freaked out. Misunderstood. Lonely. Bullied. Many special needs students experience of mainstream education is a good one, but that isn't always the case. My name is Johnny and I am a student at First Down Special Needs School. In this film, I am going on a journey to hear what my friends have to say about both mainstream and special needs prohibition. Before coming to First Down, Rebecca was at a mainstream school. So what was it like at your old school? My old school was very bad because I got bullied a lot because of my special needs and the other kids didn't understand it because they kept on calling me names like um, you've got special needs and you're not like the rest of us and I don't want to be your friend. Why are the teachers the same? The teachers were not as bad as the students. They didn't um, help me. They put me at the back. They gave me very hard work that I didn't understand. And how did you feel? Felt me. I felt very lonely and very upset. Charlotte's experience of mainstream education was very similar to Rebecca's. What was your um, old school like? Well, I didn't like my old school because I used to get bullied, call me nasty names, take my school dinner money. I felt really upset because I didn't know what to do. Tell me, what was the teacher like at your old school? When I used to get stuck, I would put my hand up and they would completely ignore me. But not everyone at first down had a bad experience at mainstream education. Sean enjoyed his previous mainstream school. I find that first down schools, some students didn't get on very well in their old schools. And well, I had a completely different experience. Because when I was at school, I had a lot of friends and a lot of people I could talk to. And where um, student and teachers could help me and I didn't get picked on, so it was like one big family really. They helped me find out my dyslexia and helped me work through that. So like, I'm very helpful for that, because without them I probably, because they helped me find the school as well, first down, so without them I probably wouldn't be where I am now. And Alex liked his mainstream school too. In my old school it was alright, because I had lots of friends and it was absolutely fine during the breaks. But when it came to doing the lessons, I couldn't read or write properly and get support, because there were lots of people in the class. My friend Daniel went to a special needs school before coming to Thursdale. I really liked my old school because it was, really, it was really good and I had lots of friends there. It doesn't matter what school you come from, it's just whether you, if you're happy and you feel right and you fit in right there. And this is what Year 10 student Toby has found. He goes to Thursdale but also attends a mainstream school for some lessons. So I wonder if this works for him. I've been going to Buckingham School for about a year now. I go five times a week and I do motor mechanics and math. Uh, I go to Buckingham School to try and get better grades than I would achieve here. The class life is hard different between here and Buckingham. Uh, here there are about um, 14 students in my class. But at Buckingham there are like 30 one student in my class. Uh, learning here, what they do is they repeat the same subject, subject over and over again. Um, but at Buckingham they teach it once and then they move on. Okay, what we're going to do now then is look at finding the lengths of arcs and the areas of sectors. I would say I'm learning a bit more because they, they taught things to me that I didn't know how to do. Because we're stuck on how to work it out. Okay, so you've got a radius of 20 and a major arc of 78, right? I especially need to go right for some people uh, and major go right for others because uh, if you have trouble learning and getting along, uh, a special need school would be the way to go. It is alright doing both because it gives you an insight of both types of school like the best of both worlds. So Toby is happy with both education systems, but I wanted to know how all my other friends found their special needs education at First Down. Now how is First Down different to your old school? Um, First Down's a lot different from my old school because I have more friends. 
Um, the teachers understand my disability. So if I get stuck on a long word, they help me spell it out. Later we became less exonerated, anxious. anxious to impress. My writing's improved a lot better. Um, I feel more happier here and I don't feel alone all the time. And that's good. How about um, your teachers? Do you feel more um, unsupported? In this school I do because I can get more help than I did in my old school. And it's much better. Okay, so do you think they, they add up to a pound? No. No. Okay, have a look at this one. And I like the environment. I have lots of friends at first hand. It's been an interesting journey and I talked to lots of friends. The conclusion I came to is that it's not always about what type of education you receive. It's about making sure the school itself offers the right support and environment for every individual student. And at first then we all feel very happy to be here. I enjoyed being at this school. This school is much more friendly. I wake up feeling happy. I fit in really well at this school. I really love school now.